Item number SCP-3305, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures, MTF Gamma-84, Holy Toasters are to be permanently stationed at SCP-3305. All personnel attempting to gain access to SCP-3305 without prior approval are to be detained, administered Class A amnestics, and released. Should SCP-3305-1 manifest, it is to be detained by MTF Gamma-84 and transferred to Site-19, where it will be stored in the standard humanoid containment chamber. Protocol Judas is to be executed in the event of a containment breach meeting the required criteria. Protocol Judas Protocol Judas was a method of containment proposed by Dr. Teller to successfully detain and terminate SCP-33051, while causing minimal physical and psychological damage to those under its effects. This is only to be considered in the event of an uh, This is only to be considered in the event of a containment breach where SCP-33051 is summoned and has made contact with a civilian population. Phase 1 MTF Gamma-84 will bring a D-Class personnel with an ailment, from now on referred to as the patient, to a building near SCP-33051. All smoke detectors inside the building will be disabled, and the patient must be kept in a room which is not visible to the outside. Airplanes equipped with the suitable amount of gaseous Class B amnestics shall be positioned near the civilian population. Phase 2, MTF Gamma-84 will request the assistance of SCP-33051 in healing the patient. It is imperative that no civilian personnel be allowed inside a building with SCP-33051, given the nature of SCP-33051. If the request is made in earnest, it will comply. Phase 3. Once the patient has been cured by SCP-33051 and cleared the premises, MTF Gamma-84 shall incinerate SCP-33051. Phase 4. The airplanes shall dispense the Class B amnestics over the civilian population. Phase 5. MTF Gamma-84 is to perform a survey of the civilian population to identify individuals who retain memories of SCP-33051 and administer Class B amnestics as needed. Description SCP-3305 is a collection of five trees in the beep forest with slices of white bread stapled to them. All attempts to remove the bread from the trees have failed. If a particular ritual is performed at SCP-3305, see document SCP-3305-R, then a humanoid composed of bread will appear, SCP-3305-1. SCP-3305-1 will offer part of itself to eat and puncture itself to produce wine to drink. This bread and wine have restorative properties as individuals who have consumed them report being cured of all physical and mental illnesses. All individuals who consume part of SCP-33051 worship it as well as bread in general. The form of this worship varies highly between individuals. Similarities between this effect and those observed in SCP-3250 and SCP-2867 are under investigation. While amnestics can successfully erase memories of interaction with SCP-33051, subjects under SCP-33051's effects still believe in the existence of SCP-33051 and will continue to worship bread. Only after SCP-33051 has been terminated do amnestics become effective at erasing all memories regarding SCP-33051 Additional Documents SCP-3305-R Materials Needed 
fifty loaves of white bread, three point seventy nine liters of red wine, a virgin, eighteen point fourteen kilograms of homemade dough, fourteen point four cubic centimeters of flour, three point seventy nine liters of gasoline, matches, and a Bible. Lay the loaves between the stable pieces of bread to form a pentagram. This will require all fifty loaves, assuming each loaf is approximately thirty point forty eight centimeters long. Pour wine over all the loaves of bread. Move the virgin into the center of the pentagram. Cover the virgin with the dough so none of the virgin's skin can be seen. Sprinkle the flour over the virgin and all loaves of bread. Douse the virgin in three point zero three liters of gasoline, and each piece of bread in point nineteen liters. Ignite all five pieces of bread. Ignite the virgin. From the Bible, read aloud verse Mark fourteen twenty two to twenty four. After the dough rises, it takes the form of SCP thirty three o five one. It is unknown what happens to the virgin. As all testing indicates, SCP-33051 is made entirely of bread and wine. Event SCP-3305A. The following is the Foundation's current understanding of what occurred during Event SCP-3305A. All information was gathered from SCP-3305-1. Local authorities before being anesthetized. And foundation personnel present. Day one, an unknown group performed the ritual described in document SCP-3305-R. SCP-3305-1 SCP manifests and is led to an abandoned church near the small town Beep. He is hidden for the rest of the day. Day two, during the morning mass. Wine and bread from SCP-3305-1 are served to attendees. Eighty percent of beep was present, and consumed part of SCP-3305-1. At the end of the sermon, SCP-3305-1 introduced itself. All civilians in attendance acknowledge SCP-3305-1 as the personification of a deity. A banquet was held. Using bread and wine from SCP-33051. Day three, SCP-33051 visits the rest of Beep. Those who appear to be afraid of SCP-33051 are reprimanded against the anomaly's will. SCP-33051 beats one civilian afflicted with Alzheimer's disease, a portion of itself. The civilian claims a miracle has occurred. And now can remember his past clearly. Days four to seven, those who refuse to consume part of SCP-33051 are discriminated against by approximately forty percent of those under the effects of SCP-33051. These individuals are often refused service and are called loon free. SCP-33051 is unaware of the abusive treatment. Each night, SCP-33051 offers pieces of himself for consumption. It is estimated that ninety percent of the town have consumed a portion of SCP-33051 by day seven. Day eight, Joseph Westing, the inventor of the gluten-free slur, announces the creation of the Westing Church of Wonder Bread. Its tenets are similar to those advocated. By SCP-33051. However, they believe that white bread is a superior bread. Forty percent of Beep joins the Westing Church of Wonder Bread. Days nine to eleven, members of the Westing Church of Wonder Bread become increasingly hostile toward gluten-free civilians. On day eleven, the Patrickson family was forced out of Beep. The account of the Patrickson family are the first reports. The foundation has received regarding SCP-3305. MTF Gamma 84 is sent to investigate. Day 12. Members of the Western Church of Wonderbread attack a bakery. Two civilians are stabbed to death with sharpened steel baguettes, and four were beaten with the same weapons. 
SCP-3301 publicly denounces the Western Church of Wonderbread. MTF Gamma 84 arrives at Beep. MTF Gamma 84 detains SCP-33051 and requests transport for SCP-33051 to Site 19. Day 13 are attempting to administer amnestics to the residents of Beep, the Western Church of Wonderbread riot. Four Foundation employees and 20 civilians were injured. After the altercation, Class B amnestics were successfully administered to the rest of the population. SCP-33051 is interviewed by Site-19 personnel. See SCP-33051 interview log for the full transcript. Day 14. Residents of Beep return to worshipping bread, referencing SCP-33051. The individuals responsible for the Western Church of Wonderbread create another organization called the King's Hall Rhine Congregation. When asked about this, SCP-33051 replied, They can still feel my presence, so they still know. Or so, what more is faith than feeling? Dr. Teller requests the termination of SCP-33051. Day 15, Site Director Rogers approves Dr. Teller's termination request. SCP-33051 does not resist present now during the process. SCP-33051 is terminated by your incineration. Day 16, the Aviation Division of MTF Gamma 84 administers a gaseous amnestic to the residents of Beep fire and airdrop. The rest of MTF Gamma 84 surveys the town and administers amnestics to those who did not encounter the gaseous amnestic. All memories of SCP-33051 are erased, and all evidence that SCP-3305 exists is confiscated. MTF Gamma 84 is assigned to monitor SCP-3305. SCP-3305 Interview Log Stop log. Hello, I'm sure you've been told that you've been brought here for questioning. I have. There is nothing for me to hide. Well, it's good to know that you don't feel uncomfortable. Can you tell me where you come from? I've come from the Great Bakery. I've returned to, once again, enlighten men and women in the ways of the baker, and to let them feast upon my body. Returned. When will you hear last? I know not the passage of time between my last appearance and now. I can say for certain that massive bounds of culture and technology have taken place. I am quite impressed. Fair enough. What happened to you during your last appearance? I attempted to do the same as I did these past weeks. I brought bread and urged people to break it with one another. The only difference was that back then, bread and wine were scarce, so I was considered a blessing and a miracle. Do you not consider yourself those things? No, no. I am just a humble butter knife, spreading the words of the baker. Do you feel pain when you tear off pieces of yourself? I do, but I have grown used to it. I have suffered for the masses in other terrible ways. Giving away my blood and flesh to feed the hungry is but a prick in comparison. Speaking of which, I believe I have not offered you any. SCP-33051 removes a small piece of bread from its arm and offers it to Dr. Teller. Thank you, but I ate earlier, so I'm not hungry. Very well. Are you aware of the actions of a group called the Western Church of Wonderbread? They were responsible for an attack on a bakery in town for selling, and I quote, whole grain, the heathen's bread. I have. Have you spoken to this group at all? Not directly, but I should have. I do not condone their message. Wonderbread is terribly bland. I much prefer Pepperidge Farm. And log.